here. Make sure I got plenty. All right, that should be good. If you're thinking about starting a pressure washing business, but you want to learn more about the equipment, mixing chemicals, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, and much, much more, check out the How to Wash course. It'll be the first link in the comment section and the description. Hey guys, Southeast Soft Wash going to be adding another video to our How To series. So we've got a how to clean a driveway, how to clean a roof. Today we're going to be looking at a different type of roof. This will be how to clean a metal roof. So we get a lot of questions about metal roof cleaning. There are some specific things you need to know about that. So we've got the drone out here with us today. We'll try to get you guys some good footage. Uh, this is a really, really nasty metal roof. Now I know the sun's a little bit in our eyes, but this thing is solid black. It's supposed to be that creamy white painted metal roof. So let's walk through this thing from start to finish, take all the precautions, come along for the ride. We'll see you in a second, stay tuned. Okay guys, so when we're talking about a metal roof, the differences between that versus an asphalt shingled roof or a Spanish tile or a slate, like we got all these different kind of roofing materials, cedar shake roofs. But today we're looking at metal. So what are the things you need to know about a metal roof and the precautionary things you need to do? Make sure you don't damage this roof in the process of trying to get it clean. Number one is we don't use any high pressure when we're cleaning a roof. And that's pretty much across the board for any roofs. We're not gonna pressure wash it we're gonna soft wash it. Uh, second thing is, what is that black stuff growing up there? Well, it's just bacteria. It's uh, most commonly gonna be gliocapsa magma, which is the same thing we'll see on the asphalt shingle roofs on a lot of other surfaces. If we come in here and look on the, this is an old rental house. They're trying to get it rehabbed back up and rent it back out. It's a nice place. It could be a nice place and they're trying to get it fixed up. So cleaning that roof, we're just gonna be cleaning the same thing that's on everything else. It just looks really bad when it's up on the roof. So we're gonna take care of that with a, here's your percentages, anywhere from a two to a 5% mix, okay? Now you've gotta be really careful when you go from two to 5%. That's a massive change in bleach strength. Uh, you don't wanna go any hotter than you have to just to be doing it, all right? Will it clean it at five? Yeah. Will it clean it at 12? Yeah, but you're gonna mess up a lot of things. So we wanna be as mild as possible. I would recommend you guys start around 2%. Work your way up from there if it's not cleaning it as quickly as you need to. And that can be based on a lot of factors. It's the middle of November right now, but it's pretty warm today here in Alabama. So we're probably going to be at about a 4% mix on this. We don't need to go quite to a 5, but it is really nasty. It's also not very steep of a pitch. So that may uh, determine me going up a little bit in strength because the steeper the pitch, the quicker it's going to run off. So while I got it up there, I need to be able to hit it with a little bit of potency. You will notice there are no gutters on this house, so we gotta take that into account. Now, the grass and stuff here, it's not gonna be a big deal. We'll keep all that stuff watered down. We do have some shrubbery down here on the end, so we'll keep all that stuff wet while we're spraying. Uh, this is not a galvalume roof, okay? Those, I'll throw in a screenshot of what a galvalume roof looks like. Uh, that is a different kind of a, a roof, metal roofing material. We do not clean galvalume roofs. We've done them before, they are doable, very risky. So galvalume, I can't speak, uh, it's a galvanized, basically an electrolysis process. So they coat this thing with a protective coating, but it's not, it's not nearly as durable to Kim's as a painted metal roof. So when we're talking about metal roof cleaning, we're talking about painted metal roofs. This is that cream color. You got green, red, blue, black, all kinds of different colors. If it's that galvanized coating on a metal roof, Highly recommend you guys hard pass, all right? That's an insurance claim waiting to happen. You don't wanna do those. What can happen is your, your SH can actually counteract the galvanized process and you'll have shiny spots and dull spots and shiny spots and it'll just overall, it won't look good. Yes, you can do them, it's just risky, okay? So now that we know that it's not galvalume, we know what percent we're gonna be on, we're looking at our property protection stuff, which that's standard no matter what you're cleaning. We've kinda of got the, the gist of this job down pat. What else do we need to be aware of? Well. A metal roof, if you're on a hotter mix and it's middle of the day and it's sunny, you know, the roof gets hot, especially in the summertime, 
you can screw up and oxidize this thing if you're not careful through a chemical reaction with your mix. So we don't wanna do that. A couple just key things. We don't wanna let our mix dry. We'll make sure it stays wet the whole time. Keep it wet and start rinse, rinsing. If it starts to dry, throw some water up there or reapply. You wanna keep your mixture wet. So make sure you don't let it dry. We like to do them either early in the morning or in the afternoon. We don't try to do them midday unless we just absolutely have to. If we do have to do it midday, we'll spray it down with hose or the, the ball valve on the pressure washer and just try to cool that metal down so that we're not basically throwing it up to a roof that's 500 degrees. It's gonna bake on and it can oxidize the paint. So watch out for that. But it's pretty straightforward. Other than that, the only other thing to be aware of is you're gonna have a lot of runoff with these because it's a slick surface. So when you spray it up, it's gonna run off pretty quickly. So it's a less is more kind of thing. And we'll show you that with the technique on spraying. You just gotta get it on there and be prepared for a lot of excess runoff. So without any further things, let's go ahead and go back to the truck and get set up. We'll show you guys the rig. We'll come back. This is an easy one to do. It's a ranch so we can hit it from the ground. Let's take a look at the rig and then we'll come back and look at the roof. All right guys, we're at the truck over here. This is one of our flagship skids. If you guys don't know who we are, real quick, we're Southeast Softwash. We build equipment like this and trailers and mini skids and we do training and lots of cool stuff. Check out the description down below. There'll be a bunch of links down in there. If you wanna get some equipment and some training to be able to do this kind of stuff, uh, check that out. We'd be glad to help you out. So this is a Lumax Pro. It is killer on this kind of work, residential, some small commercial stuff, it'll absolutely kill it. This will make you a lot of money. So we're gonna use this rig to apply our chem and to rinse it off. One other thing I didn't mention earlier, we always rinse metal roofs, all right? A lot of times we don't rinse shingled roofs unless the landscaping and the gutters or lack of gutters tell us we need to, but we're not really rinsing an asphalt roof for the sake of the roof. On a metal roof, we're absolutely gonna rinse every one of those off. Metal and bleach don't go together. Bleach is corrosive. Uh, not only that, you've got the roof itself, but you've also got all those screws that are holding it down, all the rubber grommets. We want to make sure we rinse this roof off, and we will, do, we will be doing that with the pressure washer. You could do it with the soft wash system as well, just set to water only. Either way, uh, that'll just be faster. So what we'll do here, we will pull down our hose. We're going to prime up the system, so I'm going to cut it on. We'll prime up water. All right, that's just water. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my bleach line. It takes just a few seconds to do all this. I can see my hose filling up here with SH. Now, it's not gonna come out here for about 60 seconds, so I'm safe to spray out here in the yard. All right, my bleach line's good and primed. I'm gonna add my surfactant in there with it. Just a little bit, you can see that green surfactant loading up the line there. Now you do want to watch yourself, guys. You don't want to go too long doing this in the yard because eventually we're going to get a mix coming out here. We don't want to spray their yard with a mix. I've been doing this long enough. I pretty much know my time limits. So I'm going to pull me off enough working hose here. Make sure I got plenty. All right, that should be good. All right, real deal hose reel. That's our brand, check them out. Let's go down here and do a little bit of spray and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we've got a coat up there. It just took a few minutes to do that. We can spray pretty far with this 12 volt. So normally what we would do is fire up the pressure washer. We're tank fed, so we've got 100 gallons of water. We don't really even need to connect to their spigot for this job, such a small job. Uh, and we would be rinsing off all of this lower stuff, the shrubbery over there, keeping that stuff rinsed with the pressure washer. Well, it's not a lot of it. It's pretty much isolated over there. So I'm just gonna use my soft wash system. I've set my manifold back to water only. I cut the bleach off, cut the soap off, and now I purge the line. 
and that is just water. So I'll just take a few minutes and keep this stuff wet. You can already see a massive difference on the roof. Hopefully, you know, the sun's kind of right in our face here, but uh, right there to the middle of the house, the roof is pretty well clean. Still got some sections down here that are uh, getting worked on by our SH mixture. So we'll rinse some of this vegetation off. We'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, so as we pan across the roof here, you'll see the section on the left untreated. And then right now we're getting into the section that we just put a coat on. And it's been about five to seven minutes of dwell time and we're, we're seeing some results here. Obviously not clean yet, but our mix, our SH and our surfactant, it's working to clean off this roof. Let's take a look at another slide. All right, this has been about 25 minutes with a second coat in between. So two coats on it now. And we're, remember, we're keeping it wet. We're not going to let that mixture dry. Uh, and we're just going to keep reapplying as needed. And you guys can tell here, a uh, pretty, pretty major drastic difference. So the left-hand side of the house on the front, basically a clean roof. And then the right-hand side over here is what we were dealing with originally. Now I did spray that down with water because it makes a more dramatic uh, contrast. When you wet it, it darkens it up so you can see a little bit better. Let's look at one final slide and we're just going to pan across here. This is what we were dealing with when we got here and then the right-hand side is pretty much clean. There are a few spots left. We will spot treat those before we leave. These guys are gonna have basically a brand new looking roof, just like the day it was installed. All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with this half of the roof. Uh, we're gonna go grab some lunch. The purpose of this for us is to make a video for you guys. It's not really to clean this roof. If we were just cleaning a roof, not doing all this video stuff, we'd have been done with the whole thing a long time ago. So. This would be about an hour long project, start to finish. That's, that's kind of on the liberal side, pulling up to getting out of here. One final thing I wanna mention is, when you are rinsing this roof off, whether you're using the soft wash system or the pressure wash ball valve or a garden hose or whatever you're doing, maybe have some homeowners out there, make sure you do not spray too aggressively up towards the ridge cap, because you can't actually get water inside the roof. So just be really careful when you get up toward the very top. Make sure you rinse the whole thing down uh, like I said in the beginning, I like to do these early in the morning, let the truck go by, or late in the afternoon where it's not just blazing hot. So middle of November, we're pretty safe right here. We'll just rinse all this stuff off, uh, come back after lunch. We'll finish the whole roof for them, get it looking good. But anyway, guys, that is how to clean a metal roof start to finish. Hope the uh, video helped. We'll see you later.